Welcome and thanks for watching. The following video will review how to configure discounts in Alltrue. During this video, we will review how to create discounts for programs, merchandise, and memberships. First, we will review the configuration of an item discount for a program in Alltrue. Click on Tickets from the top blue navigation bar. From here, click Discounts and Promotions. In order to configure discounts for programs or merchandise, click Ticket and Merchandise Discounts. The Ticket and Merchandise Discounts page will list all of the discounts that are currently available in your database. To add a new discount, click the Add button and select the type of discount that you will be configuring. There are three types of discounts in Alltrue. Standard discounts will provide an amount off or percentage off an order, ticket, or merchandise item. With required purchase discounts, require a patron to purchase something at full price in order to receive a discount on the second item. Buy quantity discounts require patrons to buy a particular quantity of items before the discount can be applied. For this video, we'll start with a standard discount. Select Standard from this menu. On the General tab, define a name for your discount and select if the discount will be applied to the transaction automatically, manually, or will require a promotion code. For this example, I'll create a discount named $5 off admission on Saturday that will be applied to the transaction automatically. Next, determine if the $5 off should be applied to the order or each item in the transaction. If the discount should be applied once to the entire order, select Order. If the discount should be applied multiple times for each item, select Item. In this example, patrons are going to receive the $5 discount on each item. Next, set the calculation type to be a percentage off each item or an amount off each item. Again, we'll select Amount Off for the example. In the next section of the General tab, you can define if the discount is available for merchandise, tickets, or both. In this example, we'll select Tickets Only. When you select Tickets, you must also define which price types receive the discount. For the following example, I'll provide $5 off for any price type. Also in this screen, you can limit the number of items that will be discounted for each transaction. We'll have no limit for this particular example. Next, the availability for the discount will need to be configured. Click the Availability tab in the Discount screen. In this screen, you can determine the availability restrictions for the discount. There are seven different types of restrictions that can be applied to discounts. First, sales method. For example, if you would only want the discount to be applied online, you would select Online Sales. This would make the discount unavailable in daily sales or advanced sales. Days of the week. This will determine what day of the week will allow the discount to be applied to the sales order. It's important to remember that this is the transaction date, not the event date. For our example, we'll select Saturdays only. During a range of dates. If the discount should only be accepted between a certain date range, you can configure that here. During a time of day. This option allows you to configure discounts to be accepted during a particular time of day. Membership. This restriction allows you to create discounts that are only good for members at a certain level. Constituencies. This will allow you to create discounts for groups of constituents based on constituent codes and patron address. The final option allows you to create a discount based on where your constituents live. For this example, we will only use the restriction of Saturday. Next, the programs that should be discounted as part of the discount need to be defined. This is a required step when configuring a per item discount in all true. If a program is not defined, the discount cannot be applied to the transaction. Click the Programs tab in this screen. Here you can add all the programs that should be connected to this discount. In this example, we'll use the program of admission. Now we'll click Save. This discount will now automatically apply on Saturday for all price types and will provide $5 off per item. Now let's take a look at the second type of ticket and merchandise discount that can be applied to a transaction. From the discount screen, click Add and select With Required Purchase. Required purchase discounts require the patron to buy specific items in order to receive the discount. 
For example, you can configure a required purchase discount that gives the patron one discounted admission ticket when they purchase at least one admission ticket at full price. Provide a name for the discount and define the selected for use option, as we did in our earlier example. This discount will provide $5 off a second ticket when a full price ticket is purchased. We'll have this one apply automatically on Saturdays only. Next, click the Purchase Details tab on the discount screen. From this screen, you can set up the requirements for the required purchase discount. In the Purchase These Items section, you need to define the item that must be purchased and the quantity that must be purchased for the discount. In this example, tickets will be used. Quantity will be set to 1 and price type will be any price type. In the next column, define the discount that will be applied to the other items. In this example, $5 will be applied to one ticket for all price types. On the bottom of the purchase details screen, the discount can be limited to a certain amount per transaction and can be configured to require patrons to purchase the same event or program. This example will require patrons to come at the same date and time for admission. Next, the programs that should be discounted as part of the discount need to be defined. Again, this is a required step when configuring a per item discount in Alltrue. If a program is not defined, the discount cannot be applied to the transaction. On the Programs tab, you can add all the programs that should be connected with this discount or offer. In this example, we'll use the program of admission. Next, the availability for the discount will need to be configured. Click on the Availability tab in the discount screen. As we learned earlier in the video, the availability can be set multiple ways. Again, in this example, we'll just choose Saturday. Now we'll click Save. This discount will now automatically apply for Saturday for all transactions that purchase one ticket at full price and will provide a $5 discount on the second ticket. The final type of discount that we'll review in the Ticket and Merchandise Discount section of Alltrue is a Buy Quantity Discount. To add a quantity discount, specify the number of tickets that must be purchased to receive the discount. Additionally, enter the amount or percent off that constitutes the discount, or enter the specific discounted price to be given when the required number of tickets or merchandise items is purchased. For this example, we will use merchandise items in order to display how to discount merchandise. On this screen, we'll name our discount and define the selected for use option. This example will provide patrons a 10% off discount when they purchase 10 merchandise items. Next, the availability for the discount will need to be configured. Click on the Availability tab in the Discount screen. In this example, this discount will use the default setting. Next, select the Merchandise tab to define what department or merchandise will be included in this discount. There are three settings you can use when discounting merchandise. These settings are All Discountable Merchandise. If your department is configured as discountable, the discount will apply. Specific Departments. This allows you to select which discountable merchandise departments will be included. And Specific Merchandise. This allows you to select specific items in a discountable merchandise department that should be included in the discount. For this example, the discount will apply to the Apparel Department. In this case, any items in the Apparel Department will count towards the 10 items. Now we'll click Save, and the discount should apply once the 10 apparel items are added to the order. Next, we will review how to configure membership promotions in Alltrue. These promotions can provide a member's extension to their membership or discounts on their membership. You can go back to Ticket, Discounts and Promotions, and click Membership Promotions. On the Membership Promotions page, select Add to set up a new promotion. In this screen, provide a name for the membership promotion and define the application type. In this example, members will receive 10% off their membership when they use the code 10MEMBER. When defining the code, dates can be entered to control when the code can be used. Next, define if the promotion 
will be a discount or a term extension. This example will use discount and in the discount type field, select percent off. The percentage off will be 10%. Click save to save the discount. If you have a discount with code, this discount will be applied as long as the member, the cashier, or the person entering the membership enters this code. If you are using a discount that's applied manually, for example, our three month term extension, we'll need to make sure that's added to the membership program before it can be used. To do this, click Memberships from the main navigation menu. Select the membership program that you want the discount to be applied to. Next, click the Rules tab and select Edit. Here, you can check the manual discounts that should be applied to this membership. In this case, I want the three-month term extension and the free membership to be applied. And save. That wraps up this video on creating discounts and promotions in Altru. Thanks for watching.